Zoe, it's great to see you. I'm so excited to talk to you about this Vera Bradley campaign. I'm absolutely obsessed with all of this. It's so, everything is so beautiful. Yay, I'm so happy you like it. It matches yeah. your um, decor, actually. <laughs> holiday does. collection. Yes, well, tell me what you were inspired by and what your favorite pieces are from this collection. Yes, I have some of them here. Um, I'm just picking one I think you would really like. Love that. Is this so cute or what? It's a, it's I a love dumpling that. bag, which I think is like the cutest name because it's got all these little <laughs> folds and it opens up like really easily, really, but it closes fully, which is nice. And it's got these straps like called friendship straps because so you can easily like make them longer or shorter depending upon your needs. So cute. You know, or your taste. It's so pretty. And I love that. Mm, that's so cute. And then I love, this is like my favorite. It's the teddy bear bag. Isn't that's that adorable. <laughs> this is a conversation starter. So you go to a holiday party. Here's what I've noticed. When you wear something like this, everyone comes up to you and wants mm -hmm. to talk to you about your bag. So if you want to go to a holiday party and like have everybody love you immediately, you wear that. If you want everyone to come and talk to you, it's a great, you know, icebreaker conversation starter and, mm -hmm. you know, it holds your things, which is great. So cute here. This is like a nice travel bag because everybody's traveling during the holidays, you know? Yeah. Yes. Really nice. The pattern's beautiful, but it's actually like a waterproof fabric. That's um, perfect. Pocket for your phone and inside it's just, it's just practical. It's got, it's got like compartments and it has an inner zipper, which I love. Like a lot of bags these days don't have compartments, which is annoying. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It's just so important. I like to keep my stuff very organized and like, I want to know where everything is. And these bags are all very organized, which I so appreciate. I love that because, you know, every like couple of weeks I'll go and look at the bottom of my bag. I'm like, oh, I had no idea that was there because I'm so disorganized. I know, right? Yeah, and everything, you're like, where is it? <laughs> like you literally like lose it's like a like like if you don't have compartments it becomes like a mary poppins bag you're just like pulling random lamps and things out of your bag it's so true it really is and well i then i i figure that all of your holiday shopping is pretty much done then because you have something for everybody now <gasps> yeah well so what's cool about vera bradley is that they have all these like beautiful like very you know like kind of high-end bags that are lo like mm -hmm. lovely velvet things that feel very fancy and special and they also have like really great practical everyday bags and backpacks and like little pouches that you can you know organize again organize <laughs> organize <laughs> stuff in like travel things like it's just oh great toiletry bags mm -hmm. I mean it just they have so many things so it is a really great place to shop like for a lot of different holiday things yes yeah. I totally agree with you. And I feel like their uh, products, uh, their designs last forever too. I feel like I have a yeah. Bradley bag from like years and years ago and it's still yeah. like, I just bought it yesterday. <laughs> yeah, they they really last a long time. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. What's on your holiday wish list this year? Oh my gosh, you know what? Um, I have everything I want. <laughs> <laughs> I really like, it's funny. I, I get so fucking, I love to, um, I love to buy presents for other people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I get really into that and I just want to make sure everyone's happy. So um, that like watching other people open presents that I picked out for them is my favorite part of the holidays. <laughs> I agree with you. I agree with you. Circling back to style, how would you say that your style has evolved in the past few years? Because I love your style. I love all of your looks. But how would you say that it has evolved? You know, um, I think I've just like leaned more into myself a lot. Like mm -hmm. my stylist, Abe, and I have like an amazing collaboration and mm -hmm. um, we both like love vintage clothes and like fashion history. That's really important to us. And so it's very, I, I think being in my forties, like I just kind of, I'm not trying to like please anybody else. I just wanted it, it's like a form of self-expression that I love so much and I, I really enjoy it. And I also like to be comfortable too. So it's like, now I'm like, you know, I'm not stuffing my feet into like really high heels anymore or anything. I'm like, I'm, I'm pretty done with that. 
Totally. I love flats. <laughs> mm-hmm. To, uh, 100%. I have a pair of flats on right now. What are you, since you love comfort, what's your stance on like skinny jeans? Are you happy that they're coming back or no? I mean, they keep, I hear so many, I don't believe in trends because like mm. things look good on people or they, you know, it's like you have stuff that looks good on you that you like, that makes you feel good. Wear it. I don't care if it's like, you know, on quote unquote on trend or not. Cause they, it's like the trends move so fast and it was like, they were out and then they're in like so quickly that it's like, what are you going to do? You're going to throw everything away and then buy a whole new closet full of things. I mean, to me, I'm like, if you like skinny jeans, wear them. I'm a straight leg person. Mm-hmm. I like have pretty much always, I like straight leg jeans yeah. or I also do like a sailor pant kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Any jeans have never been like my thing, but I, if it looks great on you, I I'm supportive of anybody wearing anything that makes them feel good. You know, do you 100%? You, exactly. When it comes to the holidays, are you somebody that likes to decorate really early? Are you like a before Thanksgiving person that likes to decorate for the holidays? Or like immediately post Halloween at this point, like it's, <laughs> We love, um, we love decorating for the holidays. It's really, Mm -hmm. it's serious in our house. (laughs) I was going to say, is there like a theme or like a tradition that you have when it comes to decoration or some of your favorite traditions that you love around the holidays? We had these amazing guys from this um, place, Glitterville, come and help us with our decorations last year. And they did the most incredible job. Like, um, it was just inspired. It was like, uh, looks like 1960s Christmas decor, like candy cane lane. It was so fun. Jonathan like loves Christmas lights and he gets really, really into those. So we have a really good time. <laughs> we, we both love the holidays. So definitely. Do, do you have a favorite tradition that you really look forward to as well? I love singing Christmas carols. That's like my favorite thing. I love singing harmony and I have a lot of friends who are really good singers. And so I do really enjoy singing as a group. And I, you know, I love all the holiday food. And my favorite part is like being with family, you know, just getting to connect. And also um, I like watching like movies on Christmas and kind of being cozy. And I, I love that. I love that. Do you watch Elf on Christmas every year? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't watch myself in anything. I feel like that might be narcissistic of me. Um, no, I watch like <laughs> Meet Me in St. Louis is like a favorite of mine. And uh, mm-hmm. yeah, Jonathan, I think, watched Elf every year before we met. But I won't let it's not that I won't let him. But I I, I I'm not like if 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 someone has me on a TV, I'm probably running, running away. <laughs> I I totally I get that. Do you have you have you watched it though? Have you you have watched it, right? I watched it once at the premiere and it was really was good. It. I just don't like watch myself. That's so funny. Is that yeah. does that go for everything that you've done? Like New Girl? I watched New Girl because um while it was on, because you know, when you're doing a show, you have the ability to go like because you're shooting. Uh, the show as the shows are coming, you know, as the episodes are coming out. And so I would be like, oh, I, I can adjust my performance, Mm -hmm. you know, next week, if it like, if it wasn't, you know, some, you know, if it wasn't coming off, off maybe how I liked it, uh, then I was able to adjust my performance. So I considered it part of my job for that, but like with a, you know, and that was a network show that was like, you know, another type of show. It wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to be doing that but um with a movie you shoot it and it comes out like a year or two later sometimes like there's not necessarily any point in me, in me watching it but <laughs> well it still brings I joy to everybody ever watched herself so I feel okay about it you feel okay about it no totally <laughs> well it still brings joy to people every single year around the <laughs> holidays is it ever disappointing to you that Will says he has no plans to ever reprise his role as Buddy um you know, I respect Will and, you know, what he wants to do. I, I, I love him, but he's a, he's a great, great person. One of the best, seriously, like 
one of the nicest people ever. So I, 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 he's done incredible things since then. And, you know, mm -hmm. it was a long time ago, so I, I totally get it. Um, but, uh, yeah. So I just feel lucky that I got to do the, you know, the, that movie. Totally.